Okay, I just received some uh, locks in from Germany, Potty 314. Uh, he sent a uh, DOM lock. Looks like it might be a uh, six pinner. That does work. Okay, he sent a dimple lock. No key with this dimple lock. And we have a uh, ESO or ISO, ISCO lock, I believe. That's the bidding on the key. That works. He also sent a challenge lock. This is a... Um, don't really know what it is. Uh, it's our REBI or something of that nature. Okay, I've already... Um, Picked this lock once today, uh, right after I received it, but it won't be picked again for a while. I broke my pick on the second attempt of picking this lock. The only pick I had that would uh, reach the pins because of this uh, very paracentric keyway. It uh, has to get way up inside on pin number four, I believe it is. It's uh, got to be set. So that uh, makes it tough, but I will uh, attempt to uh, pick this uh, ESO lock or ISO lock. It's a five pin. This is the bidding on it. I picked this one once today, so let's try it. He sent the uh, he sent this uh, challenge lock that I'll have to pick later. He sent a uh, this dimple lock. He said he'd like to see me pick it, so I will try it one day this next week. And these other locks he sent to uh, make uh, challenge locks out of. So we'll make some challenge locks out of those. Okay, let's use the uh, bottom of the keyway. This has a Yale type uh, keyway in it. And let's start off with this pick. Let's go to the back of the lock. A little bit on pin 5. There's pin 2. Okay, we're getting a little feedback on pin 1. Okay, it may not be ready yet. Let's go to the back of the lock again. Okay, there's pin one. All right, we had to reset pin five. Still getting some feedback off pin one for some reason. Let's see what happens. If we can get her pick under it to set it. Okay, there's pin one again. There's pin four, but we uh, dropped the pin. Okay, there it is open. I believe that was on pin five. This one does have some spools in it. Okay, we should be able to get this uh, off fairly easy because of. Uh, we do have the key for it if we lock it back. So let's see what we can do with getting the clip off. 
Okay, there's a clip off. Okay, let's go ahead and turn it like this and let's take the pins out. Okay, there's number five. Looks like a spool. Number four looks like another spool. Okay, that uh, looks like a standard pin. There's another spool and another spool. Okay, this is just standard locks from the factory. All five pins are working. It is a uh, standard. Nothing changed up about the plug or the Bible. But let's take a close look at the pins. Okay, you have a, a standard pin on the bottom on the, all five uh, pins. There's a spool here, spool, standard, spool, and a spool. So there's nothing real extra special about this lock, but uh, I'll make it into a challenge lock and send it out to the next victim. Alright, thank you very much. I appreciate your time. Please do not do anything illegal and please stay out of trouble.